good day friends it is me hl mod tech and today i've got an awesome lesson for you where we're going to play in my dot sketchup or if you've got a school account it is sketchup for schools so my friends let's get cracking when you first launch sketchup you'll have to agree to their terms and then you can choose create new and we want to use simple template millimeters this person that is in here is just here to show a scale let's click on her and hit the delete key to erase her for our project today we're going to work on some basic skills and make an awesome train so start by clicking the rectangle tool notice it gives us lots of tools to pick from we want to use this first rectangle and then we want to move to what's called the origin it's where all of these planes come together click and let go of your mouse so that it's stretching out in this way and if you look down at the right see those dimensions it's typing 1900 we want to make that 150 and then do a comma and then i want to make it 60 wide and press enter notice it makes a tiny shape down here we click this button and move down to the zoom to extents and it zooms right in if you roll your scroll wheel back it lets you see it better if we switch to the orbit tool you can use your mouse to turn it so it's a different angle now i told you we were going to make a train so watch this find the push pull and let's pull it up once again click and let go of the button and then i want you to type 60 for the height of the engine that we're making the next tool i want to show you is down here by the ruler and i want you to find the dimension tool when you click the dimension tool you have to click once for a starting point a second time for the end point and then move your mouse out or down so that you can mark the distance that that is so our train is 150 millimeters long which is what we told it to be a moment ago if you missed a measurement you can just use undo to go back to where it was the other tool I'd like you to see is the tape measure tool this shows you a permanent dimension this lets you click stretch it out in a direction and then type a number that you want I want you to type 60 and press enter and see that little dot it made that's where we're gonna make our trains cabin when we click the line tool we can stretch across and see that green line that means we've just created a straight shape let's go back to push pull click and release and just lift it up and then we want to type 45 for the height of our engine on our train let's make an area for the person to sit real quick by using the amazing offset tool so if you switch from push pull to offset and then click the face up top i want you to leave it again adjustable and then type the number five and press enter it offsets it five on every side return to that sweet push pull tool we want to push pull the center and then this is my favorite part take a look at this red arrow i have clicked and let go and i'm going to put an arrow pointing at the red arrow and then watch this if i move it to that corner and click that's called inferring i said hey sketchup i want you to make this push all the way down to that exact spot so you use the red arrow to click where you want it to go all right friends let's cut out some windows on this before we can we need to draw these lines to make this a shape all the way around so now we've got a square, a square, another square face. Now notice if I go kitty wampus, it doesn't show me the green line, show me I'm on the right axis. That is a way that it tells you where you want to be. And then we're going to go back to that amazing offset tool. And once again, we're going to click and let go and type the number five and press enter. Click and let go, type the number five and press enter. Go to the other sides and do the same thing, five enter and five enter return to your tools over here and find the push pull tool once again we're going to use that pointy little red arrow we're going to push this face and we want to push it to this edge doesn't matter which spot on the edge you click boom it cuts out that nifty little window just like that we will have to cut out the actual face but it only takes a moment when we're done and then we will have a beautiful cabin for our trains engineer to sit on so spacebar lets me pick the select tool delete 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 and there is our sweet trains cabin we'll put a rough on this when we're done right now let's give an engineer a place to stand so push pull 
push it down a little bit and then type the number 30 for how far down the floor is for them to be at. So with our location, let's add something on the front for where the boiler would be. Once again, go push pull and let's push this down 30 as well. Click on the arc tool and I want you to choose the second arc down. Click the front edge, click the other edge and then come up make sure making sure you're on the blue axis and then see where it says 25 I want you to type 35 and press enter notice it pushes that all the way out above that line we can then erase that line switch to push pull and we can pull the engine out on our vehicle just like that our train is starting to look more like a train trains are always above the ground so click on this bottom face lift it up a little bit and let's type 15 for how high it is above the ground let's add a couple of headlights to our engine real quick go back and find your tape measure tool and then when you move it across this line see how you find the midpoint i want you to raise it up and let's type 15 for how high up we want it to go and then from that line i want you to move out 15 and press enter and then from that same center go 15 again and press enter we're going to find a new tool right now called the circle tool and i want you to put your mouse on the circle tool and then i want you to type five for the size of one headlight and five for the size of the second headlight notice i clicked let go and then type my number let's go down to our offset let's click on the inside of that and let's go three for how far we want to offset the little eyes or the little lights. So once again, I click, let go, type three, and press enter. And with those groovy little eyeballs in place or headlights, let's go back to our offset switch to push pull. I want you to take the inset eye and pull it out two. I want you to take the outside and pull it out one. So it makes the little eyes look a little cool. So once again, the outside one is one, the inside one is two. Let's make that entire engine a component so that way the rest of the things we build don't mess it up. So all I did was do select, grab it all, right click on it, and choose make component. I'm going to type engine, and then I'm going to tell it OK so that it stays in that location. So now everything else I build beside it can be touching, but they won't really be part of the engine. All right, friends, this is going to be a little fancier. Rotate so you can see this side right here. And make sure you're patient with this skill because it does take a few times to get it. But once you do, it is a game changer. So let's click on the front corner. Notice we're not in the shape. We're just by the shape. And then we want to be looking at it so that it does on this green plane. And then I want you to type the numbers 25 comma 30. Because of the measurements I gave you, that'll go all the way up and down from the edge of the train to the bottom. Switch to your space bar and notice this is the wrong face. We kind of want the white on the outside. Right click it and just do reverse faces so that you've got the white on the outside. Find your pencil tool and then you can go from the corner or you can go a little bit in. I don't care. And then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom for what's called a cow catcher. I'm going to switch to the eraser tool and I'm going to delete and delete those lines. And then I'm going to go push pull to make my cow catcher come to life. I'm going to type the number five and press enter. And that is my cow catcher. Space bar goes back to the shape, right click it and do select all connected. So now I've only got that part selected. It did not grab the train because remember it is a component. Right click and choose make component again. I'm going to call this cow catcher and I'm going to press enter. I'm going to copy this component with a magic skill, my friends. Hold on tight. This is a game changer. Switch to the move. Click on the back corner. Notice it's just moving. If you tap control, it goes into copy mode. Go all the way to the other side. Click let go. Hit the divided by key. Type the number six and press enter. And it spreads your cow catcher all the way across your train in one step. Make sure you're careful with those steps. You had to click, hit control, click to set it down, and then immediately hit the divided by to have that awesome payoff where it spreads them out for you.
if you're working in a classroom, make sure you help your neighbors. That is the part that I find gets people most confused. But when you're all done, it is also the most awesome. So let's add some wheels to our train. Friends, it is time to add wheels to our sweet little engine. Watch how slick this is because of the math I did for you. Switch to the circle tool. Move to the edge of this line. Make sure you're in a ways because we're going to type a 15 radius and we don't want to bump into that. So click release, type 15, and press enter for your sweet little wheel. Once again, we want that face to be white, so just right-click on it and choose Reverse Faces. We are going to do Push-Pull, and we want to push it out 5 millimeters. Notice that line, we could see it, but it wasn't really connected. When you're done with that, I want you to switch back to the Sweet Offset tool, and we're going to make these look like train wheels by typing 3 for the distance, switching to Push-Pull again. And then with Push-Pull, we're going to push that in 3 millimeters, and then we're going to do offset one more time and click that inside face. And this time I want you to type 9 and press enter. Return to push pull. Grab that inside piece and pull it out too and press enter. You have just made an amazing wheel. Space bar to get to the selection tool. Click any piece. Right click and then choose selection and do all connected. Right click on that cool little wheel and I want you to make it a component. We're going to call it wheel. I've done this once or twice, so I'm going to put wheel 3 and press enter. Now that we've got that built, we can move it where we want. I'm going to just hit the move tool, and then I want to grab it from this corner. I don't want to grab the front edges. I want to grab the back. And the nice thing about that is it can stay right on that piece that I just created. If I want two of these, I can take that move tool, and I can grab that corner again. So I'm clicking that corner. Doing my control, when I tap control, it makes a copy, and I can simply move it back exactly where I want my second train's wheel to be. All right, friends, let's take these two wheels to the other side of our vehicle. Space bar, shift select, control C to copy, control V to paste, and let's just set them right here. Let's take those two pieces, and let's do something different. Let's make them a group. Now when you look at them from above, if you hit M for move, they've got an awesome little rotation handle. Well, let's, let's just spin them 90 degrees so they're facing the correct way. When we do M for move, we can now move to the other side. I rotate with the orbit key, and then if I find this spot on the edge, I can line them up just like I did on the other side. Let's measure this distance right here with our tape measure. From this point to this point is about seven millimeters. So if I go on this side and I measure back and put in seven, then when I pull this forward, it'll be at the right spot. M is for move, pull it in, and boom. Now we've got our two wheels locked in place and they look sweet. Let's quickly build ourselves a rear wheel. Once again, grab your tape measure and from this back corner, we want to go up 15 and press enter. Return to your circle tool. And then from that spot, we want to do a radius of 30 and press enter. P for push, pull, pull it out, press 5, press enter. Switch to your offset tool once again. And this time, let's offset it 10 so it looks a little bigger. And then let's go back to that push, pull tool. This time, I'm going to use P to push, pull, and I'm going to push it in 3 just like last time. Once again, let's return to that sweet offset tool, and let's choose 15 for this offset. And press enter. Go back to your push-pull. When you select push-pull, click that middle, and let's pull it out two or three again, so that our wheel looks pretty darn wicked cool. Switch to your selection tool. Click, right-click, choose select, all connected, and then we want to make that also a component. I'm going to call it rear wheel and press enter and tell it OK. We need to make a copy of it, so I'm going to do move. And I'm going to grab from this corner. So notice I'm getting to that bottom edge. And when I tap control, it moves into copy mode. I'm going to just stay on that green axis and get it to its right location. Then I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to do space bar and click on both of them. And they are lined up, so now I can move them forward. When I hit M for move, 
I can just click this midpoint and slide them up to where I want so they're both in the same location. And then the last piece, with that selection tool, then I want to go above the other shape. And I want to make sure that I find the move tool. And that gives me the little handles that let me rotate it 90 degrees. Flip it around so that it's oriented the way it's supposed to be. All right, friends, let's add the top to our train by clicking on the first corner and the second corner and raising it up. If your spread's out funny, just tap Control to switch back to the normal. And we want a 60, 10 top to our engine. I want you to simply push-pull it out. So I'm going to push-pull to this corner. And then I want to add 5 to each side, and I'm going to just do it by hand. I'm going to pull it out 5 pull it out and press 5, pull this face out and press 5, and then I'm going to take the front and I'm going to pull it out 10, just so it looks a little bit different. My friends, that is an awesome little tank engine. Let me show you over here on the right where the materials are for painting. These are the colors that are built in. You can also browse for your colors. I'm going to just go to the colors tab and then I'm going to pick something I want to put on my train. I'm going to make my train green. And notice when I click, it fills in those entire pieces. I'm going to find black, and I'm going to fill those in on both sides. I'm going to see what it looks like if, it, if I use a gray. Gray looks a lot cooler, so I'm going to switch back to gray. So that way they show up. Why not go silly on the little cow catchers? I can make each of them different. It's that easy to paint the different components that we made. I'll put the pink one back on the outside. I think I chose that pink. And then I'm going to put <laughs> ugly orange up on top. Notice this was not a component, so I have to paint it one piece at a time. Having the other pieces be components allows me to paint them all in one step. Watch this, though. If you take the select tool and double click that component, you can go inside and paint the little pieces different. And that way it shows up even cooler when you're done. I'm going to hit the select tool and click outside to cancel that. And then watch this, one of my favorite things. I'm going to double click on this component and I'm going to paint its one piece blue. Check it out, they all turn blue when you do that. That's the beauty of creating components is that you can edit the entire project all at once. I'm going to make my back wheel just a little more awesome by once again selecting in going down finding some cool colors we can also do crazy things like have <laughs> glass for your axle so you can see inside and then once again when you click outside it actually shows up on every side all at once make sure you remember to hit save they save in a Trimble folder there will be a SketchUp if you're at school you can save it on your Google account I'm going to call this train, and I'm going to put my initials after it so I don't lose it. Alrighty, friends. Well, I hope you had a ton of fun and made a sweet little tank engine. If you did make something awesome, I'd love to see you share it with us at HOMODTECH on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And, of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLMODTECH. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.